Israel, about 2,000 girls are abandoned, abused, and orphaned every year. I was only 10. One night, father came home late. He woke me up. When I looked in his eyes, I saw that he was drunk again. I was afraid to scream. I knew I was alone in the house. Mommy was hardly ever home. Now, I am 16. I've been here for six years already. Every night, before I go to sleep, I check if the door is locked. When I was 12 years old, my family decided to adopt 18 girls in Bait Le Pletot. One of my family members, who spent a lot of her time communicating and interacting with one of the girls in the orphanage whom she had adopted, passed away due to cancer. After this occurred, we decided to adopt 18 girls in the orphanage. The reason why we adopted 18 girls in specific is because 18 signifies life. We wanted to keep the life of my family member who passed away alive through continuing on this amazing deed that she had enjoyed doing so much. Appear just like a dream to me, just like kaleidoscope colors that cover me. All I need, every breath. This experience truly left a mark on me. It was incredible to see the faces of these girls change from droopy, sad faces to faces of excitement and glory. After taking them back to the orphanage and seeing their faces of happiness, I knew that it was my duty to continue making these girls smile. I continuously asked my parents about how the girls were and when the next time we would get to see them would be. Although this time I was unable to participate and physically be there with the girls for their party and trip, the pictures and videos showed me that I have successfully implanted another spark of happiness into their lives. 
This passion of mine does not end here. I will continue pursuing this passion and continue to prove to these girls that even though we are across the globe, we, their family, continue to care for and build on this incredible bond. Before I started collecting things for the girls in Bait Le Pletot, I knew that what I collected had to be something that they would enjoy. I thought to myself, what better present than one that they truly want? Therefore, I emailed the orphanage and found out that what the girls were fascinated about receiving was scarves, sunglasses, purses, pencils, and pens. After discovering this, I knew that this is what I had to collect for them. At first, I thought it would be easiest to ask my friends if they have scarves, sunglasses, and purses that they no longer use. However, I realized that it would be a lot nicer for them to receive new items. Therefore, I asked for money rather than items. One day, I went to the Radisson Mall and encountered a store full of sunglasses. I knew that was a perfect store. I walked in and began picking out a bunch of sunglasses. After picking them all out, I asked the owner of the store how much each pair of sunglasses cost. She told me it was $30 each. I tried getting a discount for buying a lot, but she only lowered it to $20. I then decided to tell her my project and my purpose for buying all of these sunglasses. She was amazed and decided to give them to me for $5 each. She told me to come back in 20 minutes so that she has time to package them all nicely. When I came back, she told me that she was sorry, but she didn't have them ready. For the past week, she said, I have only had five people walk into my store. Right after you came, the story has been overflowing with customers. This story shows the power of helping others. What goes around comes around. שמעתי שעושים פה מסיבה בלעדיי אף אחד לא עושה את זה יותר טוב ממני hey, תשים את הצרות מאחוריי אני לא הולך עד שכולכם מג'נונים hey, שמעתי שהתחלתם בלעדיי אף אחד לא עושה את זה יותר טוב ממני hey, הראש כבר מסתובב כולם בהיי לא נעצור עד שכולכם מג'נונים All of the items that we collected were given to the girls on Rosh Chodesh Adar. Why this date in specific? On this date, start 60 days of happiness and optimism. In Megillat Esther, it says, All of the sufferings will turn to happiness in the month of Adar. Therefore, with these gifts, I was aiming towards adding that happiness to their lives. Although this was done over a short period of time, 
It is having an effect in my heart that I know will be everlasting. It is our mission as a community to help our brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter how busy one is. It is important to take a step back and look at how they can help their community. Trust me, you will feel as if the happiness you will see from them is more than you can ever give to them. I want to ask all of you to join me into helping by the Pretot and bringing the world to a better tomorrow. Oh, 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 o